So dealing with inactive accounts in Active Directory is one of the, well, many problems that anyone who's ever dealt with Active Directory can relate to. Uh, if you don't clean them up, they're going to stack up, and eventually you're going to spend a whole week trying to clear them all out. Uh, but what you can do is you can use PowerShell to find them, and it ultimately remove them, and it's not really that difficult. So what I wanted to go over is using the search AD account commandlet to find inactive users and then ultimately remove them. So using search AD account to find inactive users is as easy as just using the dash account inactive parameter and specifying either a time span or a date time. So first here, I've got a time span just in a string notation. So if I run line 13 here, you can see that I've got a list of users. So it actually pulls a, a good bit of useful information. So that, like the expiration date, the last logon date, locked out, a bunch of different things. There is one uh, property missing here that I think is really important get to that. This is the easiest way to find an active user. So I'm gonna pipe that to a format table to give us a better layout here. And so you can see that of all the users that are inactive, none of them have a last logon date, just you know working in a demo environment. The other way to specify that time span is to actually use the new time span commandlet. And you can see that here on line 16, I'm using a new time span and specifying the days parameter and making a time span of 30 days. And this, of course, is going to give us the same output. And then we can also specify a date. So line 19, I've got a date time in string notation. So all the users that have been inactive since that date. And then again, line 21, I'm using the get date commandlet to specify a date 30 days in the past. So add days negative 30. And so then to remove those users, we'll simply pipe that output to the remove AD user commandlet. Uh, but it's really important to notice that now using the users only parameter, since we only want to remove users, and specifically since we're piping to remove AD user, it will only work on users. So if we want to remove all inactive accounts, we could pipe it to the remove AD object and that would work. But in this case, remove users only, piping it to the remove AD user and using the what if parameter, uh, because I don't actually want to remove these users, I just want to demonstrate what it would be doing. And so you can see that it would actually remove all these users. So I mentioned earlier that there was one really important property that the search AD account does not return, and that's the created property. So that's when the account was created. And that's important because you might end up running this, let's say on a Monday when there's 10 new hires starting. And suddenly this found all those 10 new hire accounts and they're inactive. So it removed it. So, I mean, there's a, there's a number of ways to get around that. You could run your schedule on the weekend. You could coordinate with HR. But, you know, that's something that has happened to me before. The other way I like to find inactive accounts is to use the get AD user filter. But first, uh, let me just show you here. I'm using that same search AD account command from before. I'm piping it to a 4H to get that created property. And then this select object, I'm just converting that created property to a time span. So you'll know how long ago they were created instead of the date they were created because, you know, who knows when I'm actually recording this video, right? All right. So these users you can see were created a week ago for the most part, and there's a couple of them created about two days ago. And so it's gonna remove all of them, even if, let's say the ones that were created two days ago, those people need to log in still. Well, one way to do it, if you wanna keep using search AD account is to use a search base. Uh, maybe you've got your new users in a specific OU, just an idea. That's how that works with the search base. It's the same search base as if you were using git AD user or git AD computer, any of the other git commands uh, in the Active Directory module. But I really like the filter parameter in git AD user. And specifically for inactive users, we're going to use the last logon timestamp. And so it's really important to note that the last logon timestamp is the last logon attribute that does replicate between domain controllers. I've got a link that goes over that here. Uh, check it out if you need some more information on that. So for the filtering, what I want to do is I want to specify a date to find users that haven't logged in since, and then a date that users have been created before. So first for the logon date, I'm choosing a day 90 days in the past. And you also notice I'm converting it to file time since the last logon date time span property is in the uh, file time format. And same thing with the created date, except this one is 14 days in the past. So I'm assuming that account that was created two weeks ago and still hasn't logged on can be considered inactive. Of course, every organization is going to, you know, make this decision differently. I get to make this decision in my demo environment, <laughs> so I don't have to run this by anybody. So here we go. For, so for the filter, last logon date timestamp uh, is less than the logon date, so they haven't logged in since that date. So you can see there's no users that match that filter. And that's because all of my demo users haven't logged in. 
And so if we, if we want to find users that have a last logon date timestamp isn't populated, here's a filter we use, line 47. And you can see that I've got a number of users. And then, of course, we want to find users that were created before the created date. I don't have any of those in my demo environment. But uh, to put those all together, we can create a filter. I kind of like to write it out in this notation so that it's a little easier to read. So I'm creating a filter. So you can see I've got the filter variable and it's inside of curly brackets. And here on line 52, I'm saying the last logon timestamp is less than the logon date or the last logon timestamp has no value. So if, if the user were logged in before the logon date or they haven't logged in. And then of course, I've got the and operator here and I'm saying, and they were created before the created date. And remember the logon date is 90 days in the past, created days, two weeks in the past. And so then we can use a get data user with the filter parameter and specify our filter variable. And if we run this, you can see it doesn't actually find any users in my environment. And then if we want to remove those users, we pipe it to the remove ad user commandlet. And I've got the what if parameter. If you're ever not sure, I'll use, use the what if. So let's use PowerShell to find inactive users in your Active Directory environment and then remove them if you need to.